Hi guys, so it's me Alexis and welcome to my astrology channel and today we are going to be talking about the Pisces Rising. Before I talk about Pisces Rising though, please comment below on which rising sign you want me to cover next. And guys, please tell me your thoughts and your experiences with these risings. Like, I just want to know what you guys think and I kind of want to see if, you know, if what I'm saying is pretty accurate because, you know, I love feedback. So um, without further ado, let's talk about Pisces. So when it comes to Pisces, I'm not gonna lie, every time I think of Pisces, there's like this really big question mark. Like Pisces are so confusing to me. <laughs> They're still confusing to me as a sign. And I feel like Pisces wouldn't be Pisces unless if it wasn't confusing. Like if there was something tangible about Pisces, they wouldn't be the way they are. Like I feel like Pisces are just way out of our league, like out of our grasp of like, anything. And that's what I basically think of Pisces. Before I talk about the Pisces rising, let's just kind of break down Pisces as a sign. So first of all, it's a water sign. As a water sign, Pisces can be very in tune with their emotions. They're emotionally intelligent, they're very compassionate and sweet. The bad side of a water sign is that water signs can be manipulative, they can be quite sensitive, moody, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Pisces is also mutable. Since it's mutable, there's something interesting if you have your rising in a mutable sign. Mutable signs are known to be very adaptable and they can adapt to any situation or environment. And this can be good because you know you're flexible, you can, you know, you can just fit in anywhere. But when you're really good at blending in and when you're really good at just adjusting, and you know adapting to your surroundings you can kind of get overpowered by other things that are not as blendable so when you have a mutable rising like gemini virgo sagittarius pisces like you can be easily overpowered by your other placements that are not mutable this applies to risings because you know whenever it comes to pisces risings virgo risings or sagittarius risings or any mutable rising it's just really hard to just pin them down because they might have other signs that are cardinal or fixed, and I would see those signs first. Fixed signs especially, and cardinal signs, can definitely, you know, overshadow a mutable sign. I don't know a lot of people with a Pisces rising, but I do know a lot of people with Neptune in the first house. I do know one person with a Pisces rising though. If you have any other planet in the first house that's not Neptune, that planet will shine obnoxiously. And with Neptune or Pisces in the first house, it will really just like, It'll just make it very confusing or hard to conceptualize. One of my very good friends, she has a Pisces rising and she has Saturn in the first house. And I feel like with a Pisces rising, people can really misunderstand you. With Saturn in the first house, a lot of people think she's really intimidating and serious and like not fun to talk to when she really is a fun person to talk to. And I feel like with Pisces, it's just really just like twists everything. It just creates an illusion. It's really weird. There's just something about Neptune that just makes everything really confusing. The number one thing that I noticed with the Pisces rising is that they usually have terrible first impressions. People just don't read them right. People who have their risings themselves, they, they can't really read themselves right either. It's like everyone's confused. As an Aries, that, that really frustrates me. <laughs> um, another thing that I noticed with the Pisces rising is that um, Pisces risings tend to be very quiet, but very compassionate at the same time. Time. Pisces risings can be very sacrificial in public maybe like I feel like Pisces risings can be seen as doormats unless you have like I don't know another planet that could say otherwise I feel like people with the Pisces risings can be easily walked on if they let someone do that to them I was talking about Neptune a little bit and I was just elaborating on how confusing it can be there is a manipulative side to Pisces and how I personally see it is that it can manifest literally, like, you know, maybe some Pisces risings can be very manipulative. I feel like the reason why people can't have a very correct impression on them is that sometimes they can just blend really well because they're also mutable. But with Neptune, there's like this ultimate like blending ability, if you know what I mean. With the Pisces rising, like, they can adjust themselves into any situation. It's not like Libra where, you know, you naturally adjust yourself and everybody likes you and you kind of just blend and like you just kind of blend in and kind of ease yourself through it's not like people don't like you it's more like you're in the background i feel like pisces risings can easily blend to the background no problem stuff like that the difference is that um if you're a libra rising you just blend in but you stand out because you know you're so freaking charming some physical characteristics about pisces risings 
when I think about Pisces Risings, the ones that I have seen when people send me their selfies and they're like, oh, guess my sign. There's like one notable theme that I notice with the Pisces Rising. Like, ugh, I'm not gonna lie, you guys kind of look sleepy. <laughs> I personally think Pisces Risings are beautiful. You guys look like there's just something like clouding over your mind. What I notice is that like your eyes are very deep. They're not hypnotizing, but they're very like deep. Like you could just drown and just stare at a Pisces Rising's eyes for like centuries, basically. And another thing about Pisces Rising is that they tend to have small hands and feet and they kind of look like a fish because you know, I feel like their eyes are kind of like wide set up heart and like they kind of have big lips. Well, not like super big lips, but like prominent lips. So that's basically the physical characteristics of Pisces Rising. So I think that's it. Um, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Um, please tell me which rising you want me to cover next week. So um, yeah, bye!